Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Chat Episode 2. Our first rant. Our first legitimate session of bitching and complaining about something. Uh, today's topic I'm going to pretty much be ranting about for the next couple minutes is... It's Patreon. Um, don't get me wrong, Patreon's a good thing. Uh, it actually helps people, you know, stay afloat for financially for things they want to do for like things such as YouTube channels and this, that, and the other. But there is a point to it, and there is an easy way to abuse Patreon. And I kind of caught wind of that the other day checking it out for the first time. I was aware there's this thing called Patreon, and I was aware that people could donate to it. Well, then I decided to check it out. And I noticed that on a couple of the people on there were using it in kind of a uh, kind of an abusive way. Um, what I saw was people were on there saying, if you donate this much, this will I'll do this, or I will do that. And at first I was pretty okay with how some of the people were like, well, if you donate so much, I will pretty much give back to you. Or they had like random drawing things where it's like everyone donates a total amount, and, you know, it's like a lottery system. But then I came across a few not-too-good examples. Um, people saying that if you donated money, you got to be a part of their YouTube channel or project, and it was pretty much like bribing. Like, if you give us money, we'll do this, this, and this. And on occasion, a few of them kind of felt like, you know, selling out statements. Like, if you give me money, I will do X thing, and I'm not okay with that. I'm okay with, you know, the use of Patreon to help support a channel and this, that, and the other. But it shouldn't be used in such a way to where you're pretty much kind of bribing people to donate to you. People should want to donate to you because they feel like your content is worth that donation. They shouldn't feel like, oh, I'm going to get cool, neat little perks or I'm going to this, that, and the other. It shouldn't work like that. And Kickstarter is also a good example of this. Kickstarter is a website where people use... Um, well, they use the website to kickstart um, fund something they are doing. Whether it be a movie, a video game, so on and so forth. You know, th the same thing can be said about Kickstarter. I mean, I've heard multiple stories about people who go on Kickstarter, start a funding project for something that people get thoroughly excited for, and then next thing you know, it's suddenly they're just cutting out of the project, but they're keeping the profits, this, that, and the other, and people get screwed out of their money. And that's like kind of one of the things that's a backlash of these websites is they can be used to help support someone in their, you know, in their ideals and it can be used to support them to do what they want to do. But, you know, it's, you know, there's also scam areas too. Like there are people who use Patreon to surplus like having to get like a real job or having to actually do something for a living. They use their Patreon to donations to pretty much fund everything in their life and they don't really give too much back. And it's really sucks when things like that happen because then it gives a website like Patreon a bad reputation. But it's even worse for Kickstarter though because in Kickstarter People will ask for potentially up to a million dollars. And then, guess what? That all goes down in the shitter when they mysteriously back out of the project. Yeah, it's pretty shitty when things like that happen. But that's why we all just, you know, got to kind of remember to keep our money kind of conservatively 
and to only really use it on things that we know a good amount about or things that we definitely feel like deserve our support, you know? Like, I'm not going to go and just start throwing my money at something just because, you know, someone tells me, oh, yeah, if you give us, like, 200 bucks, you get to this, that, and the other. It's like, well, you know, you're kind of paying me off with perks and stuff. I should want to support you because I want to support you, not because the perk is really cool and even if I don't like you, I get the perk and I can be yada, yada, yada. You know, that's your... That's your um, that's your gray area for all that. And same thing with Kickstarter. You should only want to support something on Kickstarter because you like it. You know, you should see enough there on Kickstarter that you should want to support that. You know, like on Kickstarter, I see a lot of people who just talk about what they're doing. They don't actually show you what they're going to do. They don't actually show you progress. You know, and when that happens, you should... Always be wary because if someone on, you know, any of these websites, crowdfunding websites, doesn't want to actually show any sort of finished product, you should definitely be wary of where your money is. And that's why I'm also glad. Patreon, I don't know if you can pull your money out of. I don't think you can. I think your donation's pretty much set in stone. But I know Kickstarter, you can. And Kickstarter, you can pull out your money before the, um, they have like a date. And the set date is where you can no longer put money into it or pull money out of it. So, yeah. Well, that's all I wanted to rant about for today. And I will catch you guys on whatever flip side or whatever thing I do next. See ya.